Welcome back to News Geelong as we turn our attention to the pulsating world of sport and the ever-changing Geelong and surrounding district's November weather. Firstly, to sport and the hot-to-trot flying hawk, Nathan Curry. Good evening, Nathan. What's hot off the press? Thank you very much, Rulo. Well, as I mentioned on Wednesday night, Geelong Lawns Premier League men and women are about to compete in Sunday's grand final. Geelong hasn't won one in 128 years, and I caught up with Geelong men's skipper, Matthew Hicks, to find out how he felt about Sunday's grand final. Did you expect to make the grand final in the first season of Premier League? Um, to be honest, we were struggling to get a team at the start of the season, so we weren't sure how we'd go in the first place. Um, but once we got the team together, our main objective was just to be competitive in the Premier League with all those strong players. And uh, so now we're in, actually into the final. Everyone's really excited and, uh, and looking forward to the new challenge on Sunday. Yeah, well, you've definitely been competitive. You, Liston is undefeated, but you got the closest to him last time. You played 6-3 going down. Are you confident going into um, the match? Yeah, we are confident, but also uh, I think all the players are really excited uh, about the weekend. Uh, as you said, we got really close last time. Uh, well, three rubbers all, lost the last three, but we were competitive all day. And like as, as on Sunday, we were underdogs going against Kuyong and uh, certainly going underdogs this week against Liston. So, as I said, there's another challenge and uh, hopefully we can yeah, come up with a major upset on Sunday. Well, Liston have got um, two Kiwi Davis Cup players at their disposal. Do you think they'll play number one and two? Um, well, Liston's actually that strong at the moment. Their top player from New Zealand is actually number two in the team and the brother's actually number four. So they've got uh, really strong depth in their team. So, uh, as I said, uh, we've got nothing to lose against them. So hopefully we can be one competitive and two, hopefully, yeah, pull off the upset at the end of the day. <laughs> well, speaking about your players, Matthew Holsh is on his, currently on his way back from China. Do you think he'll be able to get shake off the jet lag and play some good tennis? Yeah, well, hopefully. Um, it's excited to have uh, Matty Holsher back into the team. Um, young Jake has been outstanding for us. Uh, for a 15-year-old to play Premier League, he's just been a great experience for him and uh, really valuable for the team. Um, but with Matty back, uh, he's had experience in Grade 1, um, so this will be a new challenge for him. Uh, but hopefully when he gets back, we're getting straight back on the practice court and uh, yeah, hopefully he'll be 100% by, by Sunday. And we mustn't forget the women are also in the Premier League Grand Final. Have you spoken to any of the girls? What do they think? Yeah, I've spoken to a few of the girls and they are just hoping on a few players. Their team's not 100% at the moment. Uh, their top player, Link, is uh, currently in WA at the moment and depending on results, uh, she'll be around. Um, so if she's around, I'm, their chances of winning have got a... Yeah, they're a really big shot of uh, winning the Premier League title. And what would it mean in your first season of Premier League to get two premierships? Oh, be uh, outstanding, uh, especially for Geelong. Like Geelong has had a team in 55 years, and to be in the comp for starters is just a great thing. But for both to be in the final is just another. But if we won two flags, I think it would be yeah, outstanding for one for tennis and two for tennis in Geelong. Well, good luck, and we'll keep an eye on how you go. Yeah, thanks, mate. Cheers. All right. Ta. That was Matthew Hicks there. The grand finals will be taking place on Sunday 11am at Glen Iris Recreation Club. So get on down there and support your home teams. Next up in News Geelong Sport, the Geelong football umpires have decided to refurbish their club rooms. So I caught up with uh, Councillor Stretch Contel and General Manager of the umpires themselves, Carl Wood, to find out exactly what will happen. Alright, so what sort of refurbishments can we expect from the new club? Well, it's going to be a complete redevelopment of, of the facility. The thing that I'm particularly proud of is the, the new veranda and, and, and the opening up of the facility onto the cricket pitch and onto the new netball facility. Close to a million dollars is going to be spent on redeveloping this between now and April next year. And what, sort, what will go inside of it? Carl? Uh, what we're planning to do is have a major redevelopment of the changing area. We need to provide for both our male and female umpires now that we've got a substantial number of females. And uh, then we're just going to tart a few of the other things up to make it really look nice and modern for our members. And I've got to say that we're really, really grateful to the council for the support they've given us. Uh, it's been very helpful in getting us sorted out for the next 30 years. What's the, what's the um, response from the members been like? They've been very enthusiastic about it. Uh, I get not daily phone calls, but certainly lots of inquiries. When's it going to start? And I've been able to put up on the, on the web that the, the fence has gone up and they've started to knock things down. So it's really great. All right, well, that's it for me for this week. I'll be back on Wednesday, but until then, it's back to you, Rollo. So I'm signing off from Johnson Park. Have a good weekend, Rollo. Thank you, Nathan. To the weather world, and with this run of warmer air throughout the district, the sunbathers have been out and about but will it last over this weekend? 
Joining us from the lovely seaside township of St Leonard's is Merrill Friend and Grade 6 students. We called them Merrill's Friends from the St Leonard's Primary School. Good evening to all. Here on the beautiful Ballerine Peninsula, we're down at St Leonard's Primary School for the weather today. And the news for tomorrow, Saturday, is there's going to be some rain with a chance of a storm. Minimum of 13, maximum of 20. Sunday, there'll also be some rain, minimum 13, maximum 19. Monday, we're heading for a top of 17 after a low of 9 with a shower or 2. Tuesday, a shower or 2, minimum 7 and a maximum of 18. And Wednesday, partly cloudy with a minimum of 7 and a maximum of 19. Today, Friday, it was a minimum of 13 and came up to maximum of 31 and there were a few showers around and expecting a chance of a storm. So that's it for the weather tonight. We're from St Leonard's Primary School. Have a great weekend. Yay! Thank you, Meryl, and the St Leonard's Primary School Grade 6 students. Some rising stars in that group. And thank you for being with us on News Geelong this Friday evening. Remember Lynette Sutton of Belmont, take your time and smell the flowers, Lady Lynette. From all the team at News Geelong, you have a safe weekend and a very good night.